Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of The John Morris Show. So I, I talked about this kind of the other day. It's this whole gory story of how it took me five years to learn PHP and all the dumb mistakes that I made. Well, the thing I didn't mention in that particular video is the rest of the story. And the rest of the story is that I learned my lesson from that. And when it came time for me to learn jQuery later on, I changed the way that I approached it. And it took me about a month to learn it. Now, I'm not saying some jQuery master, but just getting to a functional level where I understood the language, I could do the stuff that I needed to do. It took me about a month. And that experience for me is why today's email is going to be blatant pitch. I'm just going to put that out there now. This is going to be another one of my blatant pitches. So a while back, I was asked over on Quora, what's the fastest way to learn how to code? And my answer was it's three things. First, you need to build real things. So as you're learning, don't just be learning the stuff and, and doing the little examples, but actually be building something or multiple things along with it. So you learn not just the the individual skills, but kind of how to put it all together into something, how to build something and the creativity it takes and how kind of arbitrary it can be at times the way that we do certain things. So I think that'll help you build or help you learn a lot faster. And if you can build those real things for real people, if you can find a way to get clients along the way, even if it's you're just doing it for free or, or you're doing it for five bucks or really cheap, uh, it's better if you can do it that way. You're just going to learn a lot faster. The second is to take integrated programs of instruction. So instead of taking, you know, YouTube, watching a YouTube video here, a tutorial over here, listen to a podcast here and, and trying to piece all that together, take something that was actually designed by someone to systematically teach you the skill that you want to learn. Someone who's been through it before, they can answer questions, they know the process that they went through to learn, they can kind of guide you through that, etc. Uh, again, it's just going to help you to learn a ton faster. And then the third is to find a mentor. So someone when you do have questions, you can ask those people those questions, they can help you through roadblocks. I've told the story before of uh, the mentor that I have. Now, when I first started working with him, there was this thing that I had been trying to figure out for about two days. And I finally asked him about it. And it was literally like 30 seconds. He explained something to me and it completely just completely changed the way that I looked at what I was doing. So that having that available to me just helped me learn a ton faster. And had I gone to him earlier, it would have been even faster. So that can be a very, very valuable thing and something that can help you learn very fast. Now, to date, that answer is still the number one answer to that question over on Quora with 230,000 plus views, 517 upvotes, and a ton of positive comments and feedback on the answer that I gave. So the point I'm getting at is I was asked that question, what's the fastest way to learn how to code? And I gave that answer of those three things. And it's basically developers who've been through it agree. It's There's been so much agreement on it that those three things are really the key to learning how to code fast. Now, that's, I'm not saying it's the only way to learn how to code. I've had some interesting ways and comments uh, to me, uh, presented comments to me here lately. But so it's not the only way, but I think it's the fastest way. So if you're concerned about speed, then uh, those are the three things that you really want to do. So today I want to talk about number two on that list because... That is the big mistake I made. I did the scour YouTube and Google thing. I spent hours on a tutorial only to find out later it was outdated or it was wrong. You know, I dealt with that gnawing feeling of, is this legit? When I was sitting there watching a YouTube tutorial from some 12-year-old explaining PHP. Oh, I, I love YouTube, obviously, but it really is a crapshoot and it can uh, cost you a ton of time if... That's the only route that you go. Now, when I say that, a lot of times what people tell me is, ah, you know, today's different. There's Code Academy and all these other places and all these other free options. And while I think those things are just fine, I think it can be, uh, I think they can be a little bit risky in a sense. 
because there's something to keep in mind with things like that, and really just in general. That and that is that the power is ultimately in the hands of whoever is paying. It's it's the same point I make with Upwork. Whenever someone complains to me about how Upwork always defaults to siding with the client, this that the other, yeah, they do, and there's a reason why. The cl- the clients rule over there because they're the ones paying everyone's bills. They're paying Upwork's bills. They're paying your bills. They're the ones that are paying the money. So they're the ones that ultimately have the power in the situation. So the question is, who's paying the bill on those free sites? Is it maybe it's advertisers on some of them? Maybe it's just some devs out of the kindness of their heart running it. Maybe it's a venture capitalist trying to build some big thing. Whoever it is, I can tell you because it's free, because you're not paying for it. It's not the students. It's not you, which means ultimately you're going to be beholden to somebody else. You're beholden to someone else's goodwill. And those sites could go away or change at any moment. Or they could get neglected or not get updated. Not You could not be able to ask questions. Or they could not have the most efficient method of learning. Because you are not paying someone directly to teach you, it leaves leaves it open to all sorts of things that could happen leading to you not getting the best education you could, not getting the most efficient method of training you could, and not being able to learn as fast as you possibly can. Now, again, I'm not saying you can't learn those ways. We're talking about how to learn as fast as possible. And to me, that's a crapshoot if that's going to be the fastest way for you to learn. So, and on that last one, by the way, the the not the most efficient method of learning, uh, that actually, uh, there's some evidence that that's not too off base when it comes to Codecademy in particular, because there was a survey that was conducted by Block.io, and they found in their survey that 72% of Codecademy users never finished. Now, I'm sure there's lots of reasons why that is, but having looked at them and, and talked to people who've been through it, uh, there's a comment I got recently from from Kirk that I think probably illustrates a lot of what it is. And so he said, I spent many ni- mind-numbing hours looking for an understanding of this stuff. All the other stuff I've read about PHP and HTML and CSS and JavaScript and MySQL and so on and so forth have left me not knowing or understanding how to put it all together. This brought me frustration. Heck, even Codecademy never really explained it. They just have you regurgitate what to type until you get it right, but never really explain why are you, why you are doing it as clear as you do. And to me, that's the difference. Right? It's just like coding. When you're messing with your own stuff, you know, it, 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 it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. You may not follow all the conventions, do all the things you would do if you were working with a client. But when a client is paying you for something, you're making sure you you know the expectations are high, so you're making sure that you cross every T and you dot every dot every I. Well, when you're paying for your education, that instructor knows that the what there's a certain level of expectation, so they're going to do everything that they can to try and make sure that that training is as good as possible. And that's why I think Udemy is so great because not only are you the student in control. But and so you have all these structures who instructors who are there solely to serve you, but it's also hyper competitive. So you have some of the best coding instructors on the planet all competing to help you learn how to code as fast as humanly possible. And they're constant. I, I've watched it, Rob per- Percival is an example in particular. Just watching him, the way he constantly updates and tweaks and messes with, and I've actually worked with him a little bit and talked with him a little bit about how he puts his courses together and the amount of thought that goes into it, uh, it, you really wouldn't believe. So they're constantly tweaking and testing and updating all to serve you just that little bit better, to be that much more competitive so they can be the ones that get you to join their courses. Right, so that that hyper community, their hyper competitive community, really allows the cream to rise to the top. And then you have these instructors who are constantly working on their courses. They're also in their courses there to answer questions for you, to help you with things. You're also then there with a community of other students that are going through the same course, who they're to to bat around questions and ideas and so forth, communicate with, just socialize, etc. 
So in my opinion, it really is the way to handle that second thing on my list, which is taking integrated programs of instructions. Now, here's the pitch part. As you might have guessed, since I'm talking about this, uh, Udemy is back doing another one of their $10 deals, where you can get most of their 30,000 plus courses for just 10 bucks, which includes, in my opinion, some of the best web development courses on the planet. Now, if you want in, the link is johnmorrisonline.com slash June. If you click that or you go to that URL, that'll trigger the deal so that now all of the courses on the site show up as $10 for you, all the participating ones, which is usually most of them. Um, so that'll trigger the deal. Then you just search for what you want to learn. Search for PHP or search for Android or search for iOS. And Udemy does a really good job of surfacing the best courses to the top, the ones with the highest ratings, the ones that are the most popular. They're best-selling courses. And you can even filter by popularity or highest rating, etc. So it allows you to, to find the best course according to your own criteria. And so you just pick the best ones and away you go. Now you have that topic handled. And in my opinion, there's really no reason not to leap on it now while they're only 10 bucks because you get lifetime access to the courses. So you can grab up five or 10 courses now knowing that you're going to have to learn this stuff while they're only 10 bucks. And then you have lifetime access. So when it comes time for you to need to learn, learn them, you can just go through those courses and you don't really have to worry about them if they're going to be up to date or not because it's such a competitive environment. These instructors are so focused on helping you, the student, learn because you're the one that's paying the bill that they're constantly updating and tweaking and, and making sure that you're getting the absolute best instruction that, that you can get. Uh, so that's basically my pitch. Of course, you decide. I, I know that this isn't for everybody, but if you're someone who is really ready to, to take that next step and really to, ready to get serious about your career and invest in yourself and get there as fast as possible. Again, there's a thousand different ways that you could go about learning this. What I'm talking about is how to do it as fast as possible so you're not still stuck at that you know, nine to five job that you hate or maybe hopping from job to job like I was or just feeling like you were meant for more in your life. Like you can stop doing that and you can find the absolute fastest path to take to get where you want to go with your coding career. And it's only 10 bucks a course right now. So it's not like someone's asking you to invest thousands and thousands of dollars in yourself. It's 10 bucks. So even if the course is complete crap, you're out 10 bucks and you can get a refund. So there's really no reason not to go and, and take a stab at this and, and, and see if it's something that, that would work for you. So again, that's my pitch. You decide. But uh, the link is johnmorrisonline.com slash June. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe wherever that button is. And we'll talk to you next time.